Welcome everybody to this uh, introductionary video about the web publication platform for Sparks Enterprise Architects. Uh, the web publication platform is a web application which, uh, which makes it really easy to uh, publish information from an uh, enterprise architecture repository uh, to the internet. What we do first is we go to the internet and navigate to the home page of the uh, web publication platform. Uh, here you see uh, some information about the web publication platform. Uh, what's interesting about this page is that this is already uh, um, uh, based on the platform. So that is, this is a, a real example of the web publication platform, including uh, the information from a sample enterprise architect repository. I can show you, for example, by uh, navigating through uh, a number of diagrams. Uh, for example, I have an application layer uh, uh, diagram. Here you see uh, information retrieved from the Sparks Enterprise Architecture Repository uh, for a diagram. And what I can do here is I can click, can click on a certain item and I will navigate to the details of this, uh, of this element in the diagram. Um, what you see here is uh, for this element, the application layer element uh, on which diagrams it is uh, published. I can, for example, navigate uh, to another diagram. I will do that later. But what it also does, it uh, shows you uh, the uh, elements associated uh, to, uh, to this element in the, in the diagram. I shall navigate to uh, one of the other elements and with this um, navigational, you have an easy possibility to navigate uh, to the diagram. Um, what's also interesting is that you can uh, have a different uh, view of uh, diagrams, um, like I show here. What it does here, it shows the diagram, and what it also does, it uh, displays all kinds of detailed information about the elements. Uh, so this is a nice uh, way to uh, publish uh, all kinds of information uh, in uh, a lot and in a complete uh, page in a reading mode uh, for your uh, for your uh, users. Some extra elements uh, are, for example, uh, the explorer, and what you see here is that you have an explorer view of your. Um, of your enterprise architect uh, repository. It's a little bit comparable as the project browser, uh, but what is different is that this is all uh, web-based. And here you have also the possibility to navigate uh, through the uh, elements and show, for example, the diagrams. And this sample, well, it is in Dutch, but it will give some information about uh, the uh, about uh, the the the, uh, the functionality which is in the web publication platform. Also here, this is a little bit more detail because here some information is added. I will uh, display this in uh, a reading view diagram. It has to load for a moment. And here you see all the details about the elements which are displayed on the diagram. Extra functionality which is available is that you have all kinds of uh, search possibilities. For example, I want to look for data architecture elements. And here you see the modules, the diagrams, and eventually uh, a number of uh, elements which have, uh, which are uh, uh, based on this uh, search uh, criteria. One last thing I want to show before I go to the installation, the details is the uh, start pages. 
uh, what uh, the web publication platform in reality is, it's a combination of content management system uh, with uh, the extraction of the data from the enterprise architect uh, platform. And here you can add uh, numerous uh, start pages, uh, which are uh, content in the, uh, in the content management system. Uh, which are related to the data in uh, the uh, Enterprise Architect repository uh, and this is based on hyperlinks. But what you also can do on the start page is uh, add all kinds of content uh, like hyperlinks but also uh, descriptional text which is not based in the uh, Enterprise Architect repository and for example external uh, links. I can go here to uh, the sample viewpoint uh, packages uh, I will get a description of, uh, of a package uh, element, uh, but what I can also do is I can uh, navigate to an external uh, website. So with this uh, content management system, you can combine all kinds of information which is available in, uh, in the uh, Enterprise Architect uh, web publication uh, platform. What I will do now is I uh, like to uh, subscribe uh, to um, the, uh, to the web publication the platform that I have to do to get the link uh, for the download uh, page. Um, you can go over here and here you have the subscription page. Uh, what you can do now is uh, subscribe, if, uh, fill in all, all your personal details and uh, what's most important, uh, fill in your email address. After uh, pressing the subscribe button you will get an email from the web publication platform and here you can go to this uh, download for uh, for the zip files. Well, this is what I have already done and I have already uh, downloaded the zip file and extracted it uh, to a folder on my, in my machine. What I will do now is I will uh, start uh, the Visual Studio Community Edition but of course you can use all kinds of other tools which are uh, available for uh, manipulating uh, an application uh, programmed in the uh, Microsoft ASP.NET uh, uh, platform. Uh, for example, uh, WebMatrix uh, will do, uh, but uh, there are pro probably also other uh, uh, products which you can use. What I will do now is I will go and navigate and open uh, a web uh, site. I have still a solution open, so I will open a website. What I have done here is I have published it in uh, this folder. It will have to load for a moment. So now uh, Visual Studio is uh, loading all the files which are uh, extracted from the zip file and published in the folder. And there is one important thing that I have to do now. I have to go to the default ASPX page. And say this is my start page in this application. And actually, I am ready to run. And this is uh, all you have to do. It takes a while to start for the first time. And here you see the web publication platform as it is published uh, in uh, the web, uh, in the wpp.interactory.nl uh, uh, site. And here you have all the elements uh, which are uh, relevant uh, to you. Um, there's only uh, one thing you have to do now. And that is that you see that this uh, still has uh, the uh, sample uh, repository. I shall stop the application. And what you do now is you go to the app data uh, directory of the, uh, of the WPP on your uh, local machine. 
and here you see a number of uh, files uh, which are relevant for uh, for this implementation and for the moment uh, the most important uh, one is uh, to uh, go to the uh, EAP uh, file uh, this is the, the, the EAP uh, file which is used what you can do you can overwrite this file uh, with um, uh, with uh, your new uh, name, so, so you, when your uh, EAP is named the test.eap, you can install it here and rename it to a demo AM EAP. But there's also another solution, and that is that you go to the web config file, and there you will find in the top two files which are um, used by the connection. The first one is the content management system, uh, which you also uh, can see here. And uh, here is the repository name. So here you can rename uh, test.an uh, to uh, demo uh, EAN to uh, test.eap uh, and then you uh, are, can, we can process uh, your file. There's one more extra thing uh, you have to do to get started, and that's what you have to do uh, in uh, uh, in your repository. I will start my repository in Enterprise Architects. Enterprise Architect has to load for a moment. And what you have to do now is you have to find for a script. This script can also be found on the in the repository in the in the WPP uh, website. And uh, what you have to do uh, now is that you have to open the script. I will show it for a moment. But what the script uh, does is that it extracts all the diagrams which are in your. Um, a repository will publish it to a certain uh, folder on your um, computer, on your local computer. And when you go to the WPP site, it will be published in the diagrams uh, folder, and here you see all the diagrams. And when you let your script run, you will see what's happened because all the windows will open for a short moment of time. Unfortunately, it is a little bit slow at the moment. However, the ID will be uh, clear. When you uh, have uh, an Enterprise Architect version which does not include uh, scripting, uh, you can contact me uh, because I also have a DLL uh, which has all kinds of uh, elements uh, included and also uh, this function is, uh, is added to uh, uh, to the uh, to the DLL. Last point: what you have to do is you have to uh, uh, find a hosting uh, party. Hosting party has to support uh, Windows hosting. 
Uh, and when you have uh, done uh, all the steps I described here before, you have to publish this website uh, to your hosting uh, party, or you have to publish it in uh, in uh, Windows uh, Internet Information Service uh, as an uh, as an inter as an uh, as an, uh, virtual uh, virtual web, uh, and you are uh, ready uh, to run. So I would like to thank you uh, for your attention and I hope uh, you will uh, be a convenient user of the web publication platform. Uh, please, when you do have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me over the contact page uh, in the uh, WPP uh, platform. Uh, thank you very much for now.